Hey you everyone, welcome to a new video. There's a couple things that I want to do in this video, answering some questions from you, talking about the leaks that happened this morning, some event leaks, and also make a shiny on my account. Let's go. So the shiny that I will want to do today is this big boy Mega Ash Greninja, but let's start with the comments. I got a lot of positive comments on my videos and I appreciate that a lot. One of the few comments that asked me like for example for tips and I actually see multiple players asking for more tips about this game. But I would like to ask you guys, what would you like to see in my videos? What can I make videos about? Let me know in the comments. One of the most commented questions, how to get Ash Greninja, two ways. There there's the original Ash Greninja and there's like a fake Ash Greninja. Right now, this Ash Greninja that can actually mega evolve into mega Ash Greninja, it's only by recharging. But even if you don't recharge, you can get yourself an Ash Greninja, kind of a fake one, but it's a real one at the same time. On a normal Greninja that you can catch on the Safari, all you need to do is change the ability to Battle Bond and when you kill an enemy in battle, it will transform into an Ash Greninja and actually has the same stats as the Ash Greninja itself. The big downside is for example that Ash Greninja itself, the double S tier Pokemon, does not need Battle Bond so he can use Protean. It's a matter of playstyles now. Brennan was asking what are the odds of getting a shiny, uh, let me actually try my luck over here and collect an egg. How long should I be expecting? For a shiny egg. Uh, dude, it's honestly a matter of luck. The actual odds are 1 in 2000. I got my first shiny Larvitar, it's over here, in around 200 eggs, something like that. But I have been breathing for over a week. This is not all the eggs, I released a lot of, of eggs already. I've been breathing for over a week and I was not lucky enough to get my second shiny. So it's honestly on luck, the odds are 1 in 2000. Can you make a video on gacha timetable and changes in Pokemon? For those who don't know, this gacha over here, these Pokemons that can be obtainable from gacha, they change every week. Yes. We do believe this is on a loop, but we did not register the previous one. So if there's anybody actually taking screenshots of the gacha every week, let me know. And once we actually have the loop so that you can expect when are that legendary that you want be available on the gacha, it will be listed on the Legends Club wiki. The link is in the description. How to get triple S Pokemon. There's two ways, okay? Uh, and there's the only two ways that are available right now when I'm making this video. Gacha shop. Okay, you need 1,500 uh, Gacha coupons or Gacha tickets in order to buy yourself a triple S rarity Pokemon. And how to get those Gacha tickets? Oh, well, uh, by spending Gacha coins. One Gacha coin is one Gacha ticket. As you can see over there, it's not a Gacha ticket, it's Gacha point. You get the point. You get it from actually opening Gacha. So 1,500 is quite a lot. Then there's a recharge options, treasure hunting, you can get yourself lucky and actually get that item over there, get your point ticket, when you use this you get 1500 get your points. If you are not lucky though, well if you recharge enough to get lucky 330, you will get this item for sure, it's guaranteed. And well, the other recharge way as you guys know, the shinies over here, $800, that's <laughs> quite big. I'm honestly wondering if anybody's ever going to get this one. It's it's insane. This is probably the best Pokemon. I'm actually wondering if anybody's going to buy this one because this is probably the best Pokemon that we can have right now in this version. If you guys have any other cool questions, just let me know in the comments and I will select a few to actually answer on video. Let's now talk about the event leaks. Lunar New Year events, they seemed to be leaked this morning. It seemed that it was not intentional because when I opened the game on Android, there was nothing over there. The screenshot was from iOS. So thanks a lot, QB, for sharing this on Discord. If you want to join our Discord, the link is in the description. This event seems to start on the next week, on Monday, January 31 until February 7. So it's a seven day event. It will have multiple things. 
Over here it says gorgeous meals, greeting cards, Lunar New Year 2022 activities, etc. So it seems like it's going to be a lot of items that you will drop from the dungeons. What I mean by dropping on the dungeons is going to the Dynamax adventures over here. And actually when you blitz these adventures, you will probably have a chance to drop items that will be used specifically for that event. Which could be much similar to the New Year and Christmas events that we have. Also, for the rechargers, 7 day lucky star and lucky spin. This is actually awesome for those who want to spend money on the game. Because if you don't know, Lucky Star is basically the best value for your bucket in this game. I already spoke about the Lucky Star in previous videos. It's an event that shows up on the weekend for the rechargers. But if I remember correctly, with $5, you get like 28 of these rumble packs, which are amazing. And you can get yourself, for example, purple sandbags. So it's 28 purple sandbags, 15 mega stones, some diamonds, some energy, some safari tickets. So it's like the best thing that you can get for five dollars and what i just said is just five dollars so uh if you are planning to spend on the game imagine doing this for a whole week ends up being 35 dollars but you also get like a lot of value from it flash sale bundles for all and win items with with what i don't know this is the only screenshot that i have that's probably more text below but there was no other screenshot of this event when the event talks about flash sale bundles i wonder if they are actually going to put a limited offer over here with multiple shiny Pokemon that you can purchase directly. Would it be cool if they actually start making bundles for diamonds and not just recharge? I would assume that's something that they might take in consideration in the future, so we, we can just hope. Those were the leaks of the Lunar New Year events, so let's take a look at the third part of this video, which making my boy shiny. Actually, I'm curious on seeing how many stats does it get. Over here, we have Mega Ash Greninja. If we go actually to the research, I'll, I'll just call it Pokedex. If we go to the Pokedex and we search for Greninja, we can actually select the Mega Ash Greninja, which is what I have right now, and you can see the stats that it has. Now, a shiny Pokemon usually also gets stats. For those who don't know, shiny in this game gives you stats. That's why it's cool and important to make it shiny. Now, 740 total stats. If I click on the shiny form, look at this beauty. Uh, actually, the black Pokemon, uh, like dark colored Pokemon and blue Pokemon are the best shinies, in my opinion. Change my mind. 780 total stats. So that's an increase of 40. That's an increase of 40. We have, for example, special attack. We get, the, I think we get like special attack. We get both attacks and both defenses. Let me check, take a look. Yes, sir. So we get both attack and both defenses increase in stats. It's by 10. <laughs> I mean, uh, I can't expect it to, to make it much stronger than this. So we get 183 special attack. I am building mine as a special attacker. So I'm really curious to see how are we going to shiny? It's with a battle pass. So yesterday I did not claim this on purpose because we are on the level 99 of the battle pass. I have purchased the battle pass for $15 and we have over here the shiny, the legendary flash flute amazing uh of course even without recharging you get an epic flash flute which can be very useful and i will also use it but not in this video so we are going over here to the weekly task collect 200 exp there you go battle pass exp max and we go and we claim all look at this beauty legendary flash flute i am wondering if it's actually uh do i get anything now no <laughs> So right now, I don't, like, this EXP is actually wasted, sadly. So, honestly, you know what I should have done? No, no, no. Uh, and this week, it actually does not matter. Because Monday will be more than three days at the time that I'm recording this video. But when you actually are, uh, imagine on the next month, if you are completing the pass in the middle of the week, maybe you want to wait a few more days and not collect EXP from the weekly task because that can be used for the next week. Uh, just just a, a random thought right now. So we got the shiny, uh, the, the shiny flutes. Let's go over here to the research and go to Pokemon Transform. Over here, I had a question of somebody asking, does it reset your stats? The question will be, hopefully not. 
the answer will be hopefully not. No, it doesn't. I'm I'm sure it doesn't. So we go over here. Uh, actually, the stats that I care about the most are special attack. That's what I get increased. So special attack and defenses. And let's look at the power 113. So we go over there. Uh, let's make this big boy shiny. As you can see, the shiny flute it requires. There's no special animation. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> okay, this game is missing a special animation. Like, it should be a little bit more epic than just random text showing up. So we got 5000 power, not bad. We got around 1000 special attack, not bad at all. And we got our shiny boy Greninja over here. Let me actually collect my daily rewards. And let's go really quick to the master shop and see if I have this adapted arrow scroll. Yes, let me actually test my luck really quick. We put the adapted scroll here, we just put a bunch of sand and... Okay. Wow. <laughs> Anyways, just showcasing a little bit of this Greninja on action. I'll actually try and showcase the over here against effect because I want to show against Zygarde. For example, there's a lot of people that think Zygarde is unkillable. It's not unkillable. All you need is a nice move. Just like I saw a couple people saying that, oh, look, Tyranitar just dies instantly with a fighting type attack. It's normal. It's four times weak. I think the same applies very much to Zygarde itself. And <laughs> look at that. One ice move. Keeping in mind, this is a 21k special attack Protean Greninja. So it's completely normal that doing a special move against the Zygarde, which is a physical defense Pokemon mostly, it's completely normal that I just kill it, okay? <laughs> so it's completely normal. So um, over here, if we do on a... P oh my, oh it was a crit? God damn. Um, <laughs> okay, over here, if I would play on a PvP against effect, of course I would lose. Uh, since he has like much more stuff than I do. I'm basically just showcasing the power of this Greninja itself. Oh, that was a sucker punch. And the sucker punch actually took me out. Well, I apparently I lose anyways. What if I... Tr what if I try to cheese it though? Oh, he's building up Hone Claws. <laughs> hmm. The Dragon Dance cheese against... A not player is always welcome. Honestly, that's that's your way of winning matches on the arena. Just uh, cheese your way with Dragon Dance or th something that you can just not do anything about. And he used Sucker Punch. Oh god. Oh no! <laughs> Please, let's go! Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> cheese your way with Dragon Dance. Okay, you guys already uh, now already know. But yeah, this was the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys on the next video.